Tenet is one of the most important investors in the energy transition and the builder of many new underground power lines. To transport the electricity with minimal losses over very long distances, Tenet makes use of high voltage direct current transmission at a voltage of up to 525 kilovolts. For a transmission capacity of 2 gigawatts, one cable pair is used, consisting of a positive and a negative pole. The two cables can then theoretically supply 5 million households with electric power. Running a cable underground always requires alterations to the ground. In constructing and running the underground power line, Tenet strives to minimize the impact on people, the environment and nature as much as possible. The strict requirements concerning soil protection and natural conservation are always complied with. The cable trench is dug by excavators every step of the way. The individual soil layers are carefully removed and stored separately. Depending on the character and quality, this may involve separate storage of additional layers beyond just the topsoil and subsoil. Construction traffic, excavation and storage of the material all take place within the work corridor. The work corridor for laying a direct current system with two 525 kilovolt cables has a width of 30 to 35 meters during the construction phase. When laying two parallel systems, the work corridor is 40 to 45 meters wide. Wooden beams, or metal plates, next to the cable trench are used for logistics and vehicle traffic. They also protect the soil from heavy construction machinery. The cable is generally laid at a depth of 1.3 to 1.5 meters. The underground power lines are delivered as coiled cable reels. A cable reel can hold roughly 1,000 to 1,200 meters of cable. The length of the cable per reel is limited by the weight and diameter of the cable reel to ensure that it can be transported on roads and under bridges. Each cable reel weighs about 50 tons and the entire transport weighs in at 130 tons, as much as a blue whale. The total weight is distributed over the many axles of the heavy transport vehicle. Such transports are limited exclusively to paved roads and generally take place at night to minimize the impact on traffic. During cable pull-in, the underground cable is generally laid with an open trench. It is carefully pulled into the cable trench over small roller blocks using a winch. Then the workers shift the cable from the roller blocks into the prepared sand bed. The cable sections are connected by using the jointing method. This takes place in clean room containers to prevent contamination of the casing collars with sand or dirt at the construction site. The joints are then laid in the cable trench along with the cable itself. Open cable trenches are not used at places where the cable crosses large roads, railways, rivers or similar infrastructure. In these cases, horizontal directional drilling is used, HDD for short. A separate borehole is drilled for each cable, starting from the surface of the ground. Protective conduits are then pulled into the boreholes. And finally, the underground cable is inserted through the conduits. To protect the underground cable from external influences, the workers will lay down safety plates and warning tapes. These will give visual and physical warning in case anyone mistakenly attempts to excavate here in the future.
Finally, the cable trench will be filled again with the originally excavated material, taking care to return everything to the correct layer. For the two systems laid in parallel, with a total of four cables, the protected corridor during the operating phase is a maximum of 20 meters. For a single direct current system with a capacity of 2 gigawatts, the protected corridor is only 8 to 12 meters wide. In special construction situations, such as for deep horizontal drilling, it may be necessary to expand this width. The protected corridor above the cable route must also be kept free of deep tree roots. However, the burial depth of the cable allows for typical agricultural use or landscaping, without restrictions. Over the years, Tenet has gained extensive experience in laying and operating several thousand kilometers of direct current cable in Germany. Thanks to a cable laying process that protects the existing soil, agricultural use can be resumed after completion of the construction work. Previous experiences have shown that any impairments to plant growth or harvest yield above the underground cable abate quickly in a relatively short time, if they occur at all. Tenet leverages its experience in construction projects to obtain mutual agreement between all participants and affected parties, especially with farmers and forest managers. In this way, Tenet unites the grid expansion necessary for the energy transition with the goal of ensuring security of supply, all in harmony with people, the environment, agriculture and nature.